Hey guys, sorry, I'm just, as you know, getting used to my tripod. So, today I'll be showing you how to make a four-leaf clover out of clay that you could bake in the oven. So, I already just took a corner of it out, and I put it in a ball, and I squished it flat, or you could just use a rolling pin, but that's how I got it. I just took the corner smushed it to a circle, then with my thumbs, I squeezed the circle, just like this. Like, pushed it, squeezed it, until it became this circle-like shape. You just do the circle as big or as small as you want it to be for your four-leaf clover. So, I um this video, I was trying to show it so that you can make a... um four leaf clover just with your hands and a pen because I know that a lot of people use all the fancy stuff but I know it costs a lot of money so I was trying to show you guys a quick and not a lot of money way to do this okay so then you're going to dot your pen and um, you're going to make little like you know when you dab it you're just going to like poke it and you're going to poke it out the shape of a four leaf clover. So what you're going to do is you're going to poke out a heart. Then you're going to poke out another heart and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side are you guys seeing this good I'm just here maybe up to the camera I'm just getting a pen and poking little holes in it like in the clay with the pen to make the shape of a four leaf clover. So I have, <laughs> sorry that was loud. I have done mine. So once you get it out to the shape, now because before you just poked it lightly, well just that, like you could see it, now you're going to get your pen and you're just going to, you know like when um, you're writing like this, like when you're writing this way, and you're just like this, doing this, don't actually write on your table, I'm just showing, um, when you go like this, now you're going to go over the bubbles and go like up and like down or sideways or however you have to do it. So I'm just going over the circle and I'm kind of like smoothing it out but also cutting it out at the same time because the circle was like an outline of it hold on my outline got messed up like you could poke you could keep doing the holes like digging the holes deeper so that it will come out perfectly you can just like, you could do it, like, before, like I was saying, like, just get it and, like, move it gently and, like, hold the clay carefully. I'm actually going to poke it out because when I do that, it just, like, messed up a little bit. Well, like, the corner. But I wouldn't have needed that piece anyway, so that's good. So I'm just going to, just to be safe, just keep poking it until you feel your table. So unless if you can't write on your table, you should get a different table then. <laughs> or, like, use a different table or put piece of paper or something underneath okay and don't worry if it doesn't come out perfect we will smooth it at the end and don't throw out the extra clay you could just put it back on the pile that you used to save clay Okay, almost there guys.
Okay, almost there. Keep saying it, but now I'm actually getting close. Like closer. <laughs> Oh, so if you guys um, didn't notice, um, Google Plus, I posted up a poll, which do you like better, Rainbow Room duct tape? If you guys could vote, that would be awesome. So as you know, on March 14th was Pi Day. So, can you please tell me if you did anything, like, in the comments box, tell me what you did. Like, if you, if, like, your class did something, like, what happened? My class just ate Oreos. <laughs> we first tried to do the math, see if an Oreo was an exact circle, and we found out It was not because Oreos are meant to look like a circle but that does not mean they're actually are a perfect circle okay perfect so now I did the four leaf clover shape and I know right now it looks super messy but don't worry we'll be fixing it so just get your bits of clay and your pen and put it to the side okay so what you'll be doing is you're just going to just lay it out look at it and just squeeze it pinch it until it's actually how it was in the beginning or just looks similar some of it you might actually have to like almost like redo You're just gonna like pinch the center and make the leaves bigger or smaller or however you want it to look. That's exactly what you'll be doing. Perfect. Now it actually looks really, really nice. So once you just get it nicer, I don't actually want to ruin it. I'm going to have to like slide the piece of parchment underneath. Can you guys see that well? It actually turned out really nice. You just saw that white thing. Down here, it's just my tripod. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Still getting used to it. So, you know, that was just the table. <laughs> Okay, so once you get your four leaf clover, just like that, you're going to get one of your pieces that broke off before. You're going to put it between your hands and just go like this, like roll it, but sideways, not like in a circle, just like this. Then you're just going to curve it a little. You're just going to get it between, like, hold it like this. Then get the little curve, curve it. And then you're just going to pinch the top. Actually, got the, mine's a little too curvy. There you go. So I want it to. You, you, when you want to, like, when you look at it to put it on before you press down, you could see. Just make sure it doesn't look like an umbrella. <laughs> like the umbrella handle. You want to curve, but not too curved. That's how you'll know the difference. 
And if you want the stem longer, you can have it long, you can have shorter, whatever you want to do. Okay, so then you're going, going to press it down. And then you'll be putting this in the oven, bake it for your time. And then that's it. So this is the end of this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.